Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be taking a look at the iPad gestures that have been added in iOS 12. So Apple have added some gestures in iOS 12 to allow you to navigate the iPad in a similar way to how you would navigate an iPhone 10. So this may be hinting at some perhaps newer iPad models that may be coming that use gestures only and have no buttons, but for now they work great on the current generation of iPads. So the first one, which is an easy one to remember, just like with your iPhone 10 is the ability to just swipe up to go home so that's a nice simple one that anyone can get used to very quickly now one thing which people were used to in iOS 11 is the ability to just swipe up to reach the dock obviously now if you swipe up you will get to the home screen so if you want to access the dock only if you swipe up slowly you will get to the dock now same as on the iPhone 10 if you're in an app you can swipe up and hold and then release and then you can access your recent apps so you can see all the apps that you've got open uh, in that way. Now the iPad did previously have some gestures, um, the most common ones being the sort of, uh, you know, four or five finger pinch to go home and the four finger drag up to access your apps. Now those are still available, however, they work slightly differently. So if you pinch to go home, that still works perfectly fine. However, if you pinch and hold, you can access your recent apps. And the same goes for the four finger swipe. So if you swipe up, you'll go home. However, if you swipe up and hold, you'll get to your recent apps. So that's basically a new way of navigating between home screen and app and between different apps. There is also another way which has been lifted from the iPhone 10, which is the ability to swipe along the bottom to switch between different apps. So if I swipe up slightly and then uh, kind of move across as you can see I can swipe to my last use app if I do it again I swipe up slowly and move across to my last use app and I can keep going like that and obviously I can swipe the other way um, and just work like that now there's one last thing I have to show you which is how to access control center as you may have noticed if I swipe up here there is no control center with the app switcher like there was in iOS 11 now you may have also noticed that in the top right we've got the clock and we've now got the date up here. The clock used to be in the middle, now both the clock and date are there. And we've got some icons in the top, so you've got your battery percentage, your Wi-Fi, and in this case I've got to do a disturb on. If I want control center, all I have to do is swipe down from the top right and I've got control center. So just like on an iPhone 10. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you've got any questions or comments on anything in this video, then do let me know by leaving a comment on this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and also please do subscribe by hitting the logo in the middle of the screen. And please also do consider watching the videos that are either side of that logo. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.